It's, 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 it's fireworks. Fire. Fi fire. This is an M72 law tube, stands for light anti-tank weapon. And this thing is just the coolest. I remember being a kid and seeing these on the walls in like military surplus stores. And they went for, I don't know, 40 or $50 probably. But the coolest thing about it is it's a delivery system for an anti-tank rocket. And that's all it is, is a delivery system. So the point, I mean, this is Vietnam era and we currently use these in the same configuration with a slightly better rocket in the military today. So we were in trash canistan shooting these things. And the cool thing is pull pin, extend, hit the button, shoot the rocket a couple hundred yards out. It will penetrate armor. And then you just crush the tube or throw it away because it's a single use weapon system. So this one is a really, really nice example. It has the strap, which normally isn't with it because once they're fired, it is history it's laying somewhere so this one still has it pulpit you can read this instructions here and you can uh basically without knowing how it works it's so just i don't want to say poorly constructed but it's just so simple so rudimentary these little plastic deals i'll show you how it works so read the instructions pull pin little popping sound and then the front cover flops off you throw that right away now you extend it, you gotta pull it pretty hard. And this is the coolest part. So you see the front sight pop out, you see the rear aperture pop out, and now it, it's not armed, but the rocket, and this is a uh, model of the rocket, this is just made of plastic, but 66 millimeter, you can see how ginormous that the head is, that's the warhead, and it's obviously an impact fuse. And then these little guys will pop out in flight, it's just awesome. Rocket motor, massive warhead. So now it is, it's a safe arm. The next procedure, pop this out so that the safety's off. Uh, this one doesn't have the piece of plastic in the front. There's nothing in it, very safe. But you look through the aperture here and you can guide that rocket. It's not fire and forget, you need to aim it. Press the button, there's a satisfying click. So I purchased another one because what I want to do is make this work. I want to make this thing fire rockets. And I'm sure other people have done it, uh, by the way. So now you can collapse it. Again, it's kind of cool because these things exist in people's collections because it's so fun, just satisfying to play with, at least if you're a child like me. So you press this little button and now you can re-collapse it. I'm not sure that's the term, but very carefully drop the front sight and then the rear aperture I'm making these names up as i go and then you collapse it again and you can put the pin back on it's a bit of a mess to get that all back together but insert the pin so it would be a simple matter to take one of these tubes and let's just say some Mexican fireworks and shoot these out of there by lighting the fuse all day. Well, in my sick mind, I wanted to make it work, but I want you to be able to pick it up, pull the pin, uncollapse, right? Uh, it's not the word. Uh, extend the tube and set the safe to fire and press the same button and make this thing work. Here's the coolest thing. So I bought another one. And by the way, they're not 40 or $50 on the wall in some Army Navy store anymore. I had to pay like $700 for this really good example and 600 for the other one that I'm going to beat up. So there's these little literal drywall screws in there. And you take those out and you realize just how simplistic that this system really is. This little guy holds the end cap on, but when you remove this, there's a perfectly fitting little primer pistol, uh, little pistol primer, or at least the size of a pistol primer that's in there. Now you can see that that primer probably has extra powder on it. That primer forces a small propellant 
through this tube and that's what ignites the rocket originally, which is cool as hell. So that rocket shoots out and there's a bunch of really cool videos of Marines using these in uh, Iraq, Af Afghanistan, and then they just toss them or, you know, there's some back blast videos that are pretty cool. So I was really impressed with just how simplistic this is. I mean, this little awesome primer. So my wheels start turning. Okay, do I want to make it where I have to take this off every time and use a primer? No. All we need in order to light off fireworks is a, uh, an ignition system, which is just an electronic match, right? So how do we go from a nine volt battery to the electronic match, shoot the rocket, then I lose sleep because I'm thinking, okay, if I put fins on this, like from Estes Rocket Corporation, it's gonna be floppy as it goes through the tube. So I, I fixed that, but I digress. Here's what I came up with. I built a new back plate. Let's get rid of that rocket. I built a new back plate and this is not the final configuration by any means. I built a new back plate. It's the third time I said it. And I put a micro button in there. This is not how it's going to look, but this is proof of concept. So how cool is this? I had to reconfigure a few things. I have to connect this with the pin sideways because I've mucked it all up there. But this will have a rocket in it. This is one of my prototype rockets. I can't really shoot that in my neighborhood until I'm drunk. So you pull the pin, releases the deal. This will all be configured different, differently and, and hidden away in a nice... Uh, piece. This is an electric match. So how, how cool is this? Pull pin, extend, lock, arm. This one does have the nifty front side on it. Now watch what happens. I'm, I'm aiming. Watch the igniter. With the original button, kids. The original button. Okay. So that would have lit the rocket. I am a badass. All right, we have all that done. How cool is that? No warhead, but there's some fireworks that go up in the sky and they make pretty colors. There's also some fireworks that make a giant boom. So I opted for that. This is a short, what you would, the giant bottle rockets, that's what this is. We've removed the stick. We have added fins, and they're exactly 66 millimeters, and then we added this horrible nose cone just so that it flies straight. So here's the coolest part. You put this little fella in here, and he's so nice and snug. And obviously front and rear fins keep it perfectly snug in there. So when we connect this, you can have this thing as your ultimate truck gun. <laughs> just if somebody pisses you off, jump out of the truck, pull pin, extend. Now you're pointing this at them and they're thinking this is going to be a Kate bad day. Wallace in the background now. That's fine. You're pointing this at them and they're thinking this is going to be a bad day. Now, I don't care if it kills anybody or even hurts them, but just firing this at someone in traffic, we'll get to that. So next video, we will be test firing the Law Mexican M72. Thanks for watching. When I buy fireworks, I always want to see one work. <laughs> Good man. Okay. Boom.